We begin with breaking news from El Cajon, where police are on the hunt for a killer after a body was found lying in the street. Detectives are scouring the area near Graves Avenue, just east of the 67. 10 News reporter Dan Haggerty is there live right now. Dan, what's the latest? Well, this is about as close as we can get, Kim. You see the crime tape here. They have it covering the entire street here. Uh, deputies locking down the area. They have the apartment back there where this all happened with crime tape around it, too. Saw investigators going in and out. A lot of folks around when this happened as well. One witness told me she saw much of it play out starting when she heard the gunshots. I kept walking. I hear two more big booms, and I'm like, oh, my God, what was that? Michelle Murphy can't get to her apartment past the crime tape. But investigators are real interested in hearing about the boom she heard and what she saw next. I see this guy running around the corner. He's four feet away from me. And he's kind of stumbling, running, and he's saying something. I didn't understand what he was saying. So I ran to my car, got my car, locked the doors. That's when she says she drove off and texted her boyfriend to warn him that something strange was going on near their place. That's when he called me and said he saw the dead body laying there, which was the same guy that I saw running right past me. All right, guys, uh, take a look behind me here. This is where we've seen a lot of the activity happening uh, with the flashing lights down in that area. Uh, we haven't been able to get a recent update from investigators. They've been very busy down there. We saw the medical examiner go down there a short time ago. But as they have a very long night, we'll be sure to do that for you here as well. Stay with us for the latest information. We'll get you updated again tomorrow morning, first thing right here on 10 News. In El Cajon, I'm Dan Haggerty. Guys, back to you.